Hello and welcome to the Big West Academic Honors. I'm Chloe Clark and we're here at Premier America Credit Union Arena on the campus of Cal State Northridge. This facility is home to CSUN basketball, volleyball, and was the setting for the final scene in the classic film, The Karate Kid. As we begin competition in the 2024-25 season, there are a number of exciting opportunities on the horizon for the Big West. And joining me now is a main catalyst in contributing to the growth of the Big West, Commissioner Dan Butterly. It's great to be here on the campus of CSUN today, Chloe. Great to be part of the academic honors. Let's begin with the elite of the Big West. What can you say about these exceptional scholar athletes? These 22 scholar athletes hail from five states and six foreign nations. They personify achievement at the highest level on the field, in the classroom, and in their communities. Academically, they have a collective 3.7 GPA, and their professional goals include pursuing careers in medicine, education, finance, microbiology, coaching, and professional sports. This group represents over 2,400 scholar athletes who made the commissioner's honor roll last year, which requires a 3.0 GPA or better. Nearly half of those on the honor roll had a 3.5 GPA or better, which is a great sign that our scholar athletes are performing at a very high level at some of the most academically challenging institutions in America. All 22 of these honorees are incredible scholars, but they're also top performers in their respective sports, right? You're absolutely right, Chloe. Athletically, we have team captains, Big West champions, MVPs, All-Americans, Players of the Year, and Pro Draft Picks among our honorees. We have representatives from 13 of the 19 sports, which equates to 68% of our sports. These scholar athletes also compete in fall, winter, and spring sports. This group is also present within the communities as well, right? You're spot on, Chloe. Absolutely, we are making an impact in the community. It is important to this group. Our honorees have freely given their time in support of others and to improve the quality of life in all 11 Big West markets. So their impact will extend far beyond their time playing here in the Big West. Well, Dan, thank you so much for joining us on campus. I'll see you later in the show. Absolutely, Chloe, looking forward to it. The Big West and its 11 member institutions exist to empower by doing the right thing at the right time with no excuses. Here's how one Big West Scholar athlete embodies the Big West shared commitment to enduring integrity. Danny Barrett of UC Davis serves on the leadership team at UC Davis Athlete Guidance and Support Organization. In the role, Barrett is a strong advocate for mental health resources and education, including providing strategies to cope with a variety of challenges that she and her peers face as student athletes. The Big West Academic Honors returns after this. It's easy to play it safe, but that's not our story. Only the bold is our mission. A call for risk takers and change makers to shine. In the classroom, in the community, and in competition. Bold is our past, our future, our passion. Bold is the next level. The Big West, only the bold. This is a story about strength. It wakes up early in the morning, stays up late, moves mountains, and travels the world. It makes adventure and hard work possible. Strength delivers food to tables, packages to doorsteps, products to stores, and kids to practice. It shows up everywhere you show up. Hercules tires are built for almost every driver and every vehicle. Find the right Hercules for your story and let our strength drive yours. The word malama translates to taking care. We malama the land that feeds us. All of that energy that's being put in the ground gets transferred into food. It allows us as a people to thrive as well. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama. Hawaii starts with feeling like you're on vacation before your vacation and more room to sit back, spread out, and relax. Hawaii starts here. Hawaiian Airlines. Bacon. Good morning.
morning, everybody. Nothing like the Jersey Mike's morning prep. The sizzling bacon, the slicing of the tomatoes, the bopping of the fresh lettuce. Danny, what are you doing up there? I've been living up here for months. Got a package from Mr. DeVito? Ooh, my bacon sniffing horn. Oh, smell that bacon. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, now we're talking. Freshly prepped every morning. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. Where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. Where you're welcome with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels. Come be here. Big West Scholar athletes aren't timid about taking the lead in competition, in the classroom, or in the community. Hawaii's Bia Montalado Diaz is a two-time Big West Player of the Year and a finalist for the Catino Award, the most prestigious honor in collegiate water polo. The first team All-American led the Rainbow Wahine to a 23-4 record, which is the best in program history. The marketing major from Sao Paulo, Brazil, also taught surfing and swimming to individuals with disabilities through a nonprofit called Access Surf. Welcome back to the Big West Academic Honors. All 22 of our scholar athletes are impressive, but perhaps none more so than UC Riverside's Male Scholar Athlete of the Year, Kyle Owens. Kyle, welcome. Thank you, thank you for having me. Congratulations on this significant honor. How do you successfully balance academics and athletics? Yeah, well, time management's been instilled in me since a young age. My parents have always been big on finishing my homework ahead of time, and that's kind of carried on throughout high school and into college. It's important to have time management in college just because, you know, you're living on your own for the first time and you're responsible for getting that work done early and balancing that with getting an extra work for your sport. So what I like to do is I sit down at the beginning of the week and kind of map out assignments that I have for the week and figure out where in my schedule I'm going to be able to get those done. I like to get them done earlier in the week so I can focus on sports for the rest of the week. Especially when season starts, you start to travel a lot and miss some classes. So communicating with professors is big and I like to get the work done before the road trips so I don't have to worry about them on the road trips. You have overcome significant hurdles in your personal life. How has progress been? It's been good, you know, it's going well. I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia back in March, and I've had a round of chemotherapy at the beginning of that, as well as a few rounds of a different medicine treatment cycle. And I'm currently in between treatments right now, but it's been going well, keeping the positive vibes high, and it's a big shout out to my supporting cast that I have next to me, helping me along the way. Definitely sending you positive vibes. Now that you've finished your studies at UC Riverside, how would you say your experience as a Big West Scholar athlete has shaped you? It's been great. It's a big shout out to the athletic director there and my coaching staff for believing in me and bringing me along and making me a part of the family. And I was able to create relationships that will last a lifetime and as well as make connections that I'll be able to use in the future. Yes, well, congratulations once again and I wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Next up, we introduce you to our first set of scholar athletes, including a future physician, a teacher, a physical therapy resident, and a track and field All-American who raised and trained a guide dog. Meet the Scholar Athletes of the Year from Cal Poly, Cal State Bakersfield, Cal State Fullerton, and UC Davis. Pedro Balanon of Cal Poly was named to the Dean's List each of the last three quarters, as well as the College Sports Communicators Academic All-District and Big West All-Academic teams. The Biological Sciences major strives to attend med school with hopes to become a physician. Cal Poly's Coulter Smith made the Dean's List six times in his undergraduate career. The grad student is pursuing a Master's in Business Administration and chasing a career in Financial Management. On the court, Smith and his doubles partner compiled a 14-3 record last season to earn first-team All-Big West honors. More Big West Scholar athletes continue to display leadership, like Cal State Fullerton's Gabby Vidmar. As the team's captain, Vidmar ranks second all-time in program history in three-pointers made and is third all-time in both three-point attempts and steals. Off the court, Vidmar graduated magna cum laude, while currently playing semi-professionally with the Forestville Eagles, another goal of hers is to become an elementary school teacher. Nico D'Angelo is co-captain of Cal State Fullerton's first men's water polo team. The junior led with 30 steals while adding 29 goals and 26 assists. The Napa native hopes to play overseas before earning a master's degree and coaching water polo at the collegiate level. 
Helena Valentic, team captain of the Roadrunners track and field and cross country team, has completed nearly 100 hours of community service in just two years. The grad student has earned academic all-conference and all-district accolades. Valentic pursues a master's in healthcare administration and is also working to complete a residency in physical therapy in Croatia. Brian Verdugo is another Big West athlete dedicated to giving back. The baseball player has completed more than 80 hours of community service with Team Impact, Northwest Little Leagues, Hoffman Hospice, and the Bakersfield Christmas Parade. The junior helped his team win an ABCA Team Academic Award for the first time ever and was drafted in the 12th round of the MLB Draft by the Houston Astros. A few more student athletes have gone above and beyond at UC Davis. Danny Barrett is a two-sport star who earned all West Region honors in cross country in 2023. The runner placed 11th at the NCAA Championship to earn second team All-America honors. The Santa Monica native is currently working as an intern at a climate finance firm and plans to pursue a master's in business management. Alex Asnar Beltran led the Aggies water polo team in points and goals and the Big West in field blocks in 2023. As a member of the UC Davis Student Athlete Advisory Committee, the senior participated in community projects in Davis, Sacramento, and Bay Areas. Post-graduation, the Spaniard plans to pursue a role in economics. For Big West Scholar athletes, activism means taking action to cultivate a culture of progress and positively impacting the community. Last season, UC Irvine's Samin Andar broke a 37-year-old school record in the 5,000 meters and won the 10,000 meters at the Big West Championships. Off the track, Andar serves as a Scholar Health and Wellness Commissioner on campus in addition to being UCI's Student Athlete Advisory Committee's Director of Inclusive Excellence and a Learning Assistant in the School of Biological Sciences. The Big West Academic Honors returns after this. Big West Scholar athletes take in every opportunity to pursue dreams and strive to reach their fullest potential. Cal State Bakersfield's Helena Valentic made the most of her opportunity as a member of the cross country and track and field teams. The Croatian star set four school records while earning a master's degree in healthcare administration. Valentic also logged nearly 100 hours of community service while maintaining a 3.9 grade point average. Welcome back to Cal State Northridge and the Big West Academic Honors. We're at the Student Rec Center, a 138,000 square foot facility that promotes lifelong health and wellness. 
Our next group of scholar athletes includes a three-time All-Big West performer, a two-time Big West Player of the Year, a championship MVP, and a national runner-up. Here are the scholar athletes from CSUN, Hawaii, UC Irvine, and Long Beach State. CSUN's water polo, Derocha Telek, is a leader in multiple avenues. After a record-breaking season, the senior led the conference with 94 goals and a career-high 124 points. Telek is also active in the community, volunteering both in Northridge and her native Hungary. The scholar-athlete hopes to utilize her degree in economics to get into financial analysis and marketing within the United States. Kevin Fitzer is a fellow Matador who put on a top performance this year. The senior finished in the top five in slugging percentage, home runs, and OPS. He was selected in the MLB draft in round 16 by the Colorado Rockies. CSUN's Deputy Athletic Director, Sonia Hahn, says Kevin is a remarkable individual whose character is defined by integrity, responsibility, and unwavering dedication. More featured scholar athletes from the Big West reign from around the world. Bia Montalado Diaz from Brazil is two-time Big West Player of the Year as she led the Rainbow Wahine water polo team to an all-time best 23-4 record. The sophomore led the team to a number three national ranking. Diaz looks to compete professionally in Europe with a goal of playing in the 2028 Olympic Games. Justin McCoy is another one of Hawaii's top performers. The forward ranked top five in the basketball team's defensive rebounds, scoring, and free throw percentage while starting all 34 games. The grad student also taught basketball in Japan and Hawaii. He plans to eventually open a training facility in his home state, North Carolina. Samin Andar is a two-time All-Big West performer in cross country and also holds UC Irvine's school record in the indoor 5,000 meters and ranks second in school history in the 10,000 meters outdoors. With 23 undergraduate academic honors, the junior plans to pursue graduate studies in microbiology and molecular epidemiology. Jacob Pyle, UC Irvine's Men's Scholar Athlete of the Year, is a three-time Association of Collegiate Water Polo Coaches All-Academic Team member. The junior stopped 14 shots to earn the MVP award at the 2023 Big West Men's Water Polo Championship and led the Anteaters to their first NCAA tournament appearance in 30 years. Pyle plans to pursue a master's at UC Irvine's Paul Mirage School of Business. Long Beach State's Scholar Athletes of the Year are also chasing big dreams of their own. Katie Kennedy led Long Beach State's women's volleyball team in hitting percentage and was second in total blocks. The summa cum laude graduate made president's list and the Big West Commissioner's Honor Roll in every semester of her academic career. Aiden Knight of the Long Beach State men's volleyball team is also a fellow member of the president's list and Big West Commissioner's Honor Roll. The grad student helped his team finish second nationally, and he now plans to pursue playing professionally in Europe before returning to the United States to work in the front office of a major sports organization. The Big West is where the Aloha spirit meets California cool. We celebrate freedom, exploration, progress, and inclusion. Long Beach State's Katie Kennedy will spend the next year backpacking around the world, where she'll volunteer at organic and sustainable farms, earn a certification as a yoga instructor, and spend time at a meditation ashram in India in hopes of inspiring others to pursue their dreams. We'll have more, including a final word from the commissioner when the Big West Academic Honors continues. There are places on this planet where the sunset truly outdoes itself. Where music is as constant as the urge to be barefoot. Where you're welcomed with love, respect, and a soundtrack. Outrigger Resorts and Hotels. Come be here. The word malama translates to taking care. We malama the land that feeds us. All of that energy that's being put in the ground gets transferred into food. It allows us as a people to thrive as well. Learn how you can malama Hawaii at gohawaii.com slash malama.
Jersey Mike's freshly slices it right in front of you. The authentic Jersey way. You can't fake that. And look, you can fake a lot of stuff these days. You can fake my outfit, but you can't fake freshly sliced turkey. You can fake these haunches, but you can't fake freshly sizzled bacon. Nay, you just can't fake a freshly sliced Jersey sub. It's nice to be back in my real body. Number 13, please. Made the authentic Jersey way since 1956. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. It's easy to play it safe, but that's not our story. Only the bold is our mission. A call for risk takers and change makers to shine. In the classroom, in the community, and in competition. Bold is our past, our future, our passion. Bold is the next level. The Big West, only the bold. This is a story about strength. It wakes up early in the morning, stays up late, moves mountains, and travels the world. It makes adventure and hard work possible. Strength delivers food to tables, packages to doorsteps, products to stores, and kids to practice. It shows up everywhere you show up. Hercules tires are built for almost every driver and every vehicle. Find the right Hercules for your story and let our strength drive yours. Hawaii starts with feeling like you're on vacation before your vacation and more room to sit back, spread out, and relax. Hawaii starts here. Hawaiian Airlines. Welcome back to the Big West Academic Honors. We're here at CSUN's Maddie the Matador statue, which was designed by award-winning sculptor John Hare as a symbol of ability and strength. Our final group of scholar athletes includes an inspirational team captain, a two-time All-American, and a second round NBA draft pick. Meet the scholar athletes of the year from UC Riverside, UC San Diego, and UC Santa Barbara. UC Riverside's Gigi Araki is the Highlanders softball team captain. The senior's 16 career home runs are fifth best all time in school history. A member of the UC Riverside Dean's List, Highlander Honor Roll, Big West Commissioner's Honor Roll, and Academic All Big West Team, the catcher will move on to be a graduate assistant at Hiram College's softball program. Kyle Owens is another team captain who helped UC Riverside's men's basketball team to their highest two-year win total in school history. His battle with leukemia moved his teammates to play in his honor during postseason. A buzzer beater against Cal State Bakersfield was a sports center top 10 play. The grad student earned an MBA from UC Riverside this spring. Caroline Crystal is a two-time All Big West performer and ACWPC All-American. She led the Tritons in points and shots in 2024. The senior hopes to continue playing water polo professionally before getting a master's degree in international business. Isaac Martinez, team captain of the Tritons baseball team, finished first in the Big West and second nationally with an ERA of 1.85. An active member of UC San Diego's Student Athlete Advisory Committee and Big West Undivided, Martinez was also active in coaching young players in mental skills, pitching mechanics, and personal growth training. He was selected in the 18th round of this year's MLB draft by the Cleveland Guardians. One of UC Santa Barbara's Scholar Athletes of the Year also made it to the pros. AJ Mitchell completed a stellar career on the men's basketball team. The point guard earned Big West Freshman of the Year, 2023 Big West Player of the Year, and all academic honors. He was picked 38th overall in the NBA draft and will now be playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Amelia Honor earned a second consecutive Big West Player of the Year and Scholar Athlete of the Year award. She became the first player in the Big West and UC Santa Barbara history to advance to the quarterfinal round at this year's NCAA Women's Tennis Singles National Championships. The junior plans to play tennis professionally after graduation and then wants to pursue a career in sports psychology. We're in the home stretch of the Big West Academic Honors, and behind me, you're looking at the new video board at the Matador Baseball Field. 
It's just one of the many upgrades coming as a part of CSUN's Field of Dreams baseball project. Commissioner Dan Butterly has joined us again for a final word. Dan, what is on the horizon for the coming year as the conference continues to elevate? Although there are a number of changes taking place in NCAA Division I athletics, the fact remains that the Big West Conference offers scholar athletes an unmistakable opportunity to excel athletically, academically, and through service to others. Beginning in 2024-25, the Big West Conference will be adding men's and women's swimming and diving, and all 21 Big West sports will have a conference championship, which will further enhance the student athlete experience and give our fans more opportunities to cheer on their favorite Big West teams. Earning a degree from a Big West institution is the embodiment of academic excellence. Over half of our institutions are in the top 35 most applied to institutions in America, including three schools in the top five. In addition to getting a world-class education, Big West student athletes are committed to performing acts of service that change lives in the communities they represent. Case in point, Last year, our women's basketball program set a goal of raising $5,000 to support cancer research through a partnership with the K. Yao Cancer Fund and Big West broadcaster Tammy Blackburn. In the end, the program, which was called Tough Like Tammy, raised over $10,000, which is a testament to our teams and their desire to make a difference for others. Well, Dan, thank you so much for joining us on campus. It was great to have you. That's a wrap for this year's Big West Academic Honors. Congratulations to all of the honorees. We cannot wait to see what the future holds for this talented group. For Commissioner Dan Butterly, I'm Chloe Clark, and we'll see you at the games. Oh,